hello youtube trash text back with another great tutorial in today's tutorial is about how to fix a powershell has stopped working or not opening or it may show you different errors when you try to open your powershell on windows operating system the basic solution which is restarting your computer so click on your windows icon and restart your computer so a quick restart can fix the problem related with your powershell so if the restarting cannot help you to solve your problem then the second solution will be disabling windows powershell so uh, to disable windows powershell first click on your windows icon right click on it then open the task manager first so after you open the task manager then uh, you will find Windows PowerShell in your in my case it's opened. So if you find Windows PowerShell here under the apps category, then right click on it and select in the task. So here select in the task. So it's closed. So we don't have here the PowerShell. So we are going to close it and search here the control panel. So type here control panel. So here the control panel opened so open the control panel then after that if you find here if you could not find your control panel like this just go here on the top and make it view by and select large icons and after that click on program and features then after you click program and features then you will find here turn windows feature on or off so select this one and here you will find different windows features then scroll to the bottom to the windows to the w section which is windows powershell here in my case it's already ticked so click the plus sign and uncheck both of them and which is disabling then select ok then it's searching for required files which is it's disabling the windows powershell and windows completed the requested change then close this and close this one and click here your windows icon and restart your computer after the restart check your windows powershell problem is solved or not running an sfc scan so to run this sfc scan click here the search icon and type here cmd and after you type cmd then open command prompt right click on it and select run as administrator and type here sfc space forward slash scan now so after you type this then press enter and it will uh, begin some system scanning so uh, it's taking uh, some time until it will finish the system scan process so wait patiently so here the scanning process completed and windows resource protection did not find any integrity violation in my case in your case you may got uh, a, a problem or error so just close the cmd uh, and open your uh, search which is the control panel that we did earlier control panel get the control panel opened and we will go to program and feature again and again click on turn windows feature on or off then we are going to enable the windows powershell so scroll down to the bottom and here you will find windows powershell then press the plus sign and tick both the check boxes for windows powershell then click ok and searching for required files and it's going to turn on the windows uh, powershell so wait until the process will be completed so here windows completed the requested changes so press close here and close the control panel and restart your computer.
So after the restart, check whether the PowerShell problem is solved or not. If the problem is still occurring using a different user account. So in my case here, I'm logged in with ChatTech. So uh, change the uh, user account. If you have a different user, user account, which have an administrative privilege, then use it. But if you don't have an account which have administrative pr privilege, then click the search icon here and tap settings. Here the settings, open the settings, then click on accounts here. So after you click on the accounts, then you will find your family and other user. Then after that, you will find here, add other user. So you can create another user account or profile. So if you don't have on how to create a user account, I'll put the link on, on, it, on the description box on how you can create a new user account which have an administrative privilege. Then solution number five will be performing a full antivirus scan. Sometimes virus can create a problem related with your PowerShell not working problem. So you can use uh, your built-in Windows security to scan your computer. So click on the search icon here and type here Windows, sorry, Windows security. So here the window security, then open it. After you open the window security, you will find virus and threat protection here. Then open the virus and threat protection. Then select here scan options. So you will find different scan options here. So select the full scan option. So it will check all malicious viruses. So click the full scan and it will scan fully your computer. And if you find any virus or malicious uh, programs then uninstall or delete from your computer and check your PowerShell and if you don't use your Windows security even you can use a third party antivirus softwares like you can use Malwarebytes you can find the free version which is Malwarebytes here the Malwarebytes open the Malwarebytes and under the malware bytes here download malware removal so here malware bytes free virus scan and ma uh, malware removal so you can freely download and scan your computer and remove all the malicious files and programs so the other solution will be performing a clean boot so to perform the clean boots again click here the search icon and type here system configuration so here the system configuration then open the system configuration and after the system configuration open then uncheck here load startup item uncheck them then select here services then again select here hide all microsoft service don't forget that select the checkbox then after that disable all the services you will find in my case it everything is disabled that's why it, it's showing you the grade one but in your case it will be active so select disable and select here apply and select here okay so after that it will ask you to restart your computer and restart your computer and if the solution is not helping you to solve your problem, then the other solution for this video is changing your group policy setting. So to change your group policy setting, we are going to use this uh, GP edit under the search box, type this GP edit.msc. So I'll copy this one and Paste it on your search box here, gpedit.msc, then open it. So it will open the group policy setting on your computer. And if the 
this local group policy editor is not opening on your computer i have a video that i made on how you can enable or how you can fix your local group policy editor so i'll put the link under the description box but if it is opening for you then follow this hierarchy which is open the user configuration this user configuration so here we are under the user configuration section then after that click on administrative templates here administrative templates then here let's open the administrative template arrow then after that open system here is system so click on here the system section so after you select the system it will tell you that double click on don't run specific windows applications this one don't run specific windows applications which is we are going to search it on the both side don't run specific windows application here don't run specified windows application double click on it so here it's opened which is the don't run specific windows application and set it to not configured so in my case it's already not configured so select not configured and select here apply and select here ok and close your local group policy editor then restart your computer so this are the solution on how you can solve the problems related with PowerShell are stopped working and not opening in Windows. And if this video is helpful, please like, subscribe and share to your friends. And give me comments on the comment section. Thank you for watching. Just take out.